Hello, ladies and gents of the web. It's me, Paul. You might think that this time I really abandoned you because it's been some time since I last spoke to you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but do you remember a video when I said that I have to do something about the back wall and about the door? Actually, that day came quite quickly and not only that I improved acoustically my back wall, not only that I improved acoustically and mounted again my door, I actually improved the whole ceiling acoustically because it appeared that it also leaks some sound from above. It's a multi-floor building, so I took care of this also. And yeah, as always, I was ready to spend some time and some money on it and it appeared that it's going to be a lot of money and a lot of time. Actually, it took me almost a month. And no, I've got no pictures, no videos this time for you because it was like a necessity. I was kind of off. I was really tired and I felt like getting back to work and to my vlog. So let's leave that. It's been done. It's a full success. Now it's dead silent here. And there's an item over there outside the shot. And this is what I'm going to talk about today. It's an VT229 monitor, LCD monitor by Asus. Well, you might think it's a generic LCD monitor, but no, it's actually a touch screen, 21.5 inch touch screen. I'm gonna try today to use it instead of my Behringer X-Touch console and see what happens. Well, talking about large touch screens in the studio, you have to mention Slate Raven, of course, which is a highly regarded piece of equipment, 10 points multi-touch, plus some additional functions, plus really robust build. Well, I can't afford Raven right now. So what if I just took this 240 bucks monitor and tried to make it my Raven-like controller. As you know, I'm a complete touchscreen freak and this is my ultimate upgrade. Let's go for it. Okie dokie. So the very first thing obviously is going to be unmounting and removing this Behringer X-Touch console from this very place. And well, if for any reason my touchscreen doesn't work well, I'll just leave the Behringer cables here so I'm ready to get back to X-Touch any moment. Let's continue. The first thing to notice, it's a glare, not matte screen. As with any touchscreen, there must be a reason why it's all glare. The second thing is that this screen is going to work in a position of that kind, I suppose. So, this element, this pod, has to be removed. Well, Asus, this is not easy nor well done. Let's continue. So, how I imagine that is this monitor being placed right here. And well, as I've got no fancy stand for now, I'm just gonna use this acoustic foam to make kind of a stand for this monitor. Yeah, this is how I see this setup just somehow. But there are issues to be solved. First, the access to my patch bay is not full right now. Second, I would have to fit my metagrids here. I have to still remember about them because they are totally the heart of my workflow. And also, two of these smaller touch screens gonna cause separate issues, as you can already see. What I like about this monitor is the smart placement of the inputs. It's here, so it's perfect for horizontal position. Let's continue. 
I'm using 1660 Ti GeForce video card, so it should handle four monitors easily. The last port that is free is actually display port, but having this display port to HDMI because it's got no display port, it's got just HDMI, that should fix the problem with no hassle. Let's connect it. It's here, ladies and gentlemen, as it should. The touch function works, but it works for the main screen, so probably some additional setup is needed, and I'm gonna take care about it. Now, just let me rearrange the cameras in the room. Hmm. It's 29 centimeters. Hi, people of the web. Two days passed. I got shaved and I did the things the proper way instead of being so random. I bought a proper VESA stand for this. I rearranged my space so my metagrids are here. One of my tablets is here. Another one is actually gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why. I've got an additional phone controller too, and it's here. And yeah, I've been working, 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 using my new touch screen testing it and thinking, is it Raven-like? Is it the same? Maybe it's totally different. How is it? Do I like it? And my initial thought and my first answer would be, it's absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna try to show you why. What I did last two days and what I discovered that's possible with this very new toy. So here's one of my film projects to show you what I'm capable of right now, and I'm capable of pretty much. First of all, this is my mixer window, and as it's touch-driven, my X-Touch console makes no sense no more. Why? That's why. As simple as that. Right? I still have to learn to be precise with it. It's not like a physical fader. You have to learn it somehow. There's a learning curve to this, I think. But feels great, feels very, very natural. It also combines very well, this is Mixer Undo, it combines very well, it combines great actually with two of my Metagrids. I can combine both in some cool ways and you're gonna see that very soon. Mm, what else? Because using the touch screen only for moving faders or swiping, scrolling things like this, well, yeah, great, but that's not enough, I would say. Let's expect more. So, take a look at this mixer window. And there's a list of my insert plugins. And I can, of course, click my plugin as everything, literally everything is touch driven. And I bring it here. And what should I say? Correcting things like this, moving your EQ like this creating points for your EQ or changing its character, shelving it, making it a bell, making it whatever. It's amazingly easy and fast, also very natural, very intuitive. It also integrates very well with my metagrids, I did not expect that because having one hand on my metagrids and one, he one hand here gives me some special superpowers, I would say. I'm gonna talk about it very, very soon. Anyway, having my Pro-Q3 here at hand is an amazing experience, really. And also, I've got this touch pen, uh, or this one, but I have to tell you I've got issues because this one, mm, works or not exactly, yeah, like it sometimes works. I, I think it's the surface of this is is too too small for for the screen. It, it expects like a larger, something larger, so I'm not able to use it and my hand sometimes covers the visuals I need. And I have the second one here. 
I'm gonna turn it on, and this one doesn't work actually at all. So this is something I'm gonna fix maybe soon. No touch pen, only hand for now. Uh, what else? Let's close this plugin, let's open anything else, and it's the same. Depth, attack, release, mix, sharpness, selectivity. I can also use both hands, so it's like two places at once, uh, which makes things and settings insane, insane fast. Also, it gives me a really, really nice feeling of having some kind of a physical tools with me. The, the physical aspect was brought really up front here and this is also a very, very good experience for me. Anyway, this is how I can use my mixer. There's one issue though. I cannot make it multi-touch. This is not about windows. This is not about the screen. It has perfect 10 points multi-touch. New window does not support multi-touch. And hey, Steinberg people, things like that are gonna get more and more popular, I suppose. Take care of expanding Nuendo and Cubase with multi-touch support. Because, well, when mixing, of course, I'm gonna put some, like eight of my fingers on faders. Not here. Not now. Another thing I have to mention that not only it's a single touch experience, but I somehow missed my transport section of this X-Touch unit. Mm, I was really kind of using it most, like stop, play, rewind, jog, zoom or stretch like my mixer window or something or my timeline. And there's a solution. I'll remove my coffee, maybe. Still recording. And this is an app called, it's visible here or here, Touch Door. And it acts exactly like Mackie Control Universal. It connects through RTP MIDI. I'm not gonna talk about it now too much. And it behaves exactly like virtual Mackie. So I can jog, like also frame by frame. I can zoom my mixer window, for example. I can move through channels as well. Uh, I can play. I can stop, fast forward and rewind. And it's gonna be here. It's my main smartphone. I'm gonna buy a second hand one like anything. And I'm gonna place it here permanently. Also, my second tablet that was here, it was touch driven. It's totally not needed now. I've removed it completely because I have this. Mm, what else? 